hi guys what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video as you can see it is a little bit more different than usual by the way it is a sunday morning so i'm totally in my pjs no makeup just woke up <laughs> i've been in the process of reorganizing my makeup space and one of my most treasured items in my collection are my palettes so I figured I would just do a whole video on me reorganizing kind of looking through my palettes and placing them in this guy so currently I keep my palettes on this shelf and it's just chaotic there is way too many palettes here so I want to see how much I can fit into this guy and just give it a little bit of reorganization get rid of some palettes i don't want and i figured i would do it on camera i like watching these kinds of videos so let's just get into it so this shelf is from ikea years ago i don't even think you can get it anymore but this is the new item that i got it is an alex drawer it's a shorter one but it's more wide with very, very thin drawers. And I just thought it would be perfect for my eyeshadow palettes. So I'm going to change the angle and we're going to start throwing some palettes in. Okay, so I think I'm going to try and organize this by brand. So I want to keep my more luxury products at the top and then my more affordable products at the bottom. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to put my face palettes in a drawer. I'm not sure yet. I just want to see how the eyeshadow palettes fit. So I'm just going to pop in with a voiceover every now and then to tell you what's going on. So basically, I'm starting with my more affordable eyeshadow palettes at the bottom. So this particular drawer, you'll see the brands will have like Morphe, Juvia's Place, BH Cosmetics, just my more affordable options. So this next drawer has a lot of fun brands in here. You'll see I'm stacking up a lot of different color pop eyeshadow palettes and then we'll have a lot of like indie brand in here. We have Kylie Cosmetics, KKW will be in here. Just a lot of brands in that range. Moving up to the next drawer, now we have more of my most used high-end brand products. So I'll have like Too Faced, Lorac, Urban Decay, Fenty, MAC, brands of that type of nature. So this is the drawer that you will see will be the least filled in my collection so that means I have more room to grow but this is kind of my more expensive higher end eyeshadow palettes or just things that wouldn't necessarily fit. The majority of my luxury luxury products are kept elsewhere. So at first I was unsure if I wanted to put my face palettes in here, but I had a lot more room than I expected, so I'm so excited. So this bottom, well, second drawer from the top is based on just really categorical palettes. So I have contour and bronzer palettes, highlighter palettes more in the center, and then blushes more on the left. And then here on the top drawer, it's just all of the multi-purpose face palettes. So palettes that include blush, bronzers, and highlighters I found that was the easiest way for me to split them up All of my palettes that were on that shelf are now safely in here. I know it's not the most organized, 
probably for some of you, but palettes are difficult because there's so many different shapes and sizes. But for the most part, here is the kind of final tour. Now, like I said, these are not all of my palettes. These are just the ones that were on that shelf. I have some up in this top drawer of the desk. If you look over here, I have a lot of palettes that I want to put in videos. So not my complete collection, but a pretty good chunk. So the top drawer here has most of my multi-purpose face palettes. So these are the bronzer, blush, and highlighter palettes. So all of these kind of fit the grid for that and I love it because I still have some space to build that collection. The second drawer down are my more specific face palettes. So over here are like the bronzer contoury palettes. Here are the highlight palettes and then here are my blush specific palette. This drawer is pretty crowded but it still has some room. This one is the least crowded. I have a lot of room but I have some of my more pricey eyeshadow palettes. So I have some of my Jeffree Star here, my Huda over here. I have a random by Terry that I probably will declutter soon, an old makeup forever palette, Bobbi Brown, and all of my small Viseart palettes. Next row down is my high-end palettes. So I did organize them by brand for the eyeshadow palettes. So we have my Urban Decay palettes, my Lorac palettes. Too Faced is kind of spread out over here. My MAC palettes are in the back and right here. Random brands here. I have Tati, Sydney Grace, and a Fenty palette hiding underneath there. My ABH palettes are all over here. And then these are my ABH singles. So this drawer down here has a lot of fun brands. So here are all of my ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. My collection has most definitely grown. My Melt Cosmetics, Tarte, I have a random Inglot. Kylie Cosmetics is in the back. I have a KKW palette here and these are my Dose of Colors palettes. Lime Crime in the back. I have a Kat Von D palette, Laura Lee palette, Dominique Cosmetics, Violet Voss, random brands, Alamar. And my Kaleidos palettes are in this drawer. These palettes are like really fun. All right, last drawer. These are my more affordable eyeshadow palettes. I actually have quite a big Morphe collection. I feel like it's just kind of grown over the years. I have the James Charles, the purple, uh, a couple of the original palettes, Jaclyn Hill, these guys, the Jeffree Star. I have Ace Beauty over here. BH Cosmetics, Juvia's Place, Milani, here's more BH, we have a Profusion, I have a random glitter palette kind of stuck at the bottom, NYX, and then I have a small collection of Makeup Revolution palettes. I really only buy their collaboration palettes, other than that I'm not really a fan of the quality, but I like to support so here is my new system for my palette. Alright, so this is going to be a weird abrupt ending because I definitely filmed this a month ago and then just like never filmed an outro. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to do a really chill video of me just reorganizing my palettes. I really, now that it's been a month, I really love that for storing your palettes. I just like that I can really see what I have because the drawers are so thin but wide and for the last month it's really worked out very well for me. So if you do have a large palette collection that's great or even just like a pretty large makeup collection you can fit a lot of regular makeup in there as well. I just think it's really perfect for makeup so I will be sure to link that drawer set down below for you guys. It's from Ikea and it's definitely one of my better makeup storage purchases. I'm very, very happy with it. I like it better than the tall Alex drawers because all of the drawers are thin and they're longer so you can really see the makeup that you have. So yeah, I don't have an outro so this is going to suffice hopefully. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just kind of wanted to show you how I have done my storage as far as my palettes go because I've always been so unsure of how to store my palettes and so far 
I think this is the best system that I've personally come up with, so hopefully you do as well and you find this helpful. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know the quality wasn't the best, the lighting wasn't the best, but that really wasn't the point. I just wanted to kind of more so inspire you. So if you aren't yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.